Members of Congress debated the Inflation Reduction Act on the House floor Friday. The legislation is a scaled-down version of the Build Back Better bill. The act is a large investment in making health care and prescription drugs more affordable, fighting climate change, and taxing wealthy corporations. On the House floor Friday, Congressman John Yarmuth knocked Republicans for not supporting the bill and listed off what they would be voting against before adding, quote, we will show true leadership to the world that we are taking action and we are going to lead the world in combating climate change. Uh, the gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. He has three minutes remaining. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself the balance of my time. Nice. Um, I want to remind my Republican colleagues and the American people once again what Republicans will be voting against today. They'll be voting against cutting prescription drug prices for their constituents. <clears throat> They'll be voting against combating inflation and lowering energy costs. They'll be voting against the largest federal investment in dealing with climate crisis in the history of this country. And I cannot believe I still heard from the other side today the hoax comment. Climate change is a hoax. You would think that as we watch what's going on in the world, while I watch what's going on in my state, when my citizens in eastern Kentucky were devastated by historic floods when my citizens in western Kentucky were devastated by historic tornadoes, all of which scientists have said were exacerbated by climate change, that there are still people who deny that climate change exists. But for the first time in this country, we will show true leadership to the world that we are taking action, and we are going to lead the world in combating climate change. And the gentleman from Texas said, Democrats own this bill. Yes, we do. Proud of it. I don't know one member of the Democratic caucus who is not thrilled to death today that we are doing what we're doing. Because the vast majority of the American people support what we're doing. The vast majority of the American people want us to cap out-of-pocket expenses for seniors or for their medications at $2,000. Republicans say no. They're going to vote against that. They're going to vote against, as they have, caps of $35 copay for insulin. Tens of millions of Americans will, be benefit, will benefit from that. We know that five former Treasury secretaries from both Democratic and Republican administrations, 126 of our nation's top economists, including seven Nobel laureates, support the Inflation Reduction Act. And on the other side, we have big pharma, corporate lobbyists, tax cheats, and congressional Republicans. This debate is made clearer than ever. Democrats are making, working to make life better for the American people, while Republicans just don't care. It's as simple as it is harsh. This legislation is important, historic, and a significant win for American families and for the planet. I'll be voting yes on the Inflation Reduction Act, and soon we will be sending it to President Biden's desk to be signed into law. I know he will be proud to do that as well. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back.